I've been using a tiling window manager for the last few months and I've noticed that it's quite a niche way to use the computer. So I've decided to share what is a tiling window manager and what are its main features. The first advantage of a tiling window manager is tiling, of course. So, to tile windows, you only need to open them, and as soon as you open, you will notice that they will always pick up all of the available space that you have. Here are a few examples of windows being tiled, and tiling also can happen horizontally as you saw before, or vertically as you see here. This is useful for many workflows, like for example coding, studying, video recording, and many other workflows. Although you are not restricted to always tiling windows, because, for example, you can have floating windows as well. The second advantage of tiling window managers are workspaces. But first, what are workspaces? Workspaces are very similar to different screens. So, at the same time that I have this screen running with these applications, I can also have a different screen with, for example, my coding setup or another one with my studying setup. All of these screens can work and exist simultaneously and they can be accessed by keyboard shortcuts or by the mouse by hovering over or clicking these little icons at the bottom. This way I can have many things happening at once. I can have my coding setup while I can also have a game running in the background while it's grinding something or even separate my work and play and have an easy access to both of them, keeping them exactly how I want them at all times. And the amount of workspaces that you have is only limited by your creativity in creating new shortcuts. Here at the bottom you can see I have a total of 20 different workspaces, and all of them have different purposes. For example, the first two I hold terminals, the second two browsers, the fur to chat applications and so on until the end. This way you can have different windows for different things and have them all running simultaneously. And because tiling window managers tend to be extremely lightweight, you can also run a few more applications. I do have more than 20 different applications running right now and I'm still only using 8 gigs of RAM. Similarly, that happens with games and other things, so overall it's extremely lightweight and allows you to have many things together, which is extremely good if you are a power user. The third advantage of a tiling window manager is portability. All of my configurations, like this bar at the bottom, the icons I have chosen, the gaps between windows when they are tiled, this purple and blue border that I put in case the window is focused or not, and many other little details of my setup are all configured in a few text files, more specifically these. And all of these can be moved to any other computer and suddenly I can have this exact configuration working without issues. Of course, I would also need to install the tiling window manager itself, but those are only a few megabytes and can be installed in pretty much any hardware. That way I have an extremely portable setup that I can work in and I can move around different computers. The fourth advantage of a tiling window manager is customizability. A tiling window manager is absurdly customizable to the way you want it to look. Here I'll be sharing a few other setups done by fellow tiling window manager enthusiasts. This way, you can end up making your setup exactly the way you want it. So, at the end of the day, there is no wrong way to use a tiling window manager, just different ways that adapt to the user. Go to Unix Porn to see more customizations of Linux, and I'll be leaving these in the comments below in case you would like to be inspired. The fifth and final advantage of tiling window managers I'll be showing in this video is the keyboard. You can do many things using the keyboard in tiling window managers. For example, opening new windows, closing them, moving windows around, changing focus between a window or another. So for example, focus is now here where I am typing. 
but the focus can be changed to Firefox where, for example, now I can visit Reddit. And the focus can be changed again very easily between different windows, windows can be closed, they can be moved, and so on and so forth. That's extremely useful to make working faster if you use the keyboard a lot. And it also makes accessing different workspaces a breeze. So for example, here you can see me moving between my workspaces extremely easily and without any hassle. That's exclusively because I have the keyboard to help me around. But of course, you are not only limited to the keyboard, you can also use the mouse to do those things, be it moving windows, be it changing between your workspaces, and many other things. So, if you don't like the keyboard, the mouse is still there. Overall, if you have multiple things to do in a computer at once and want to have a quick way to switch between them, or you want ways to make your windows organize themselves in neat patterns for you to do work, or even if you want your desktop looking a bit more like these examples, then a tiling window manager might just be for you. I've been using a tiling window manager. Here I'll be sharing a few other setups by Dan 